Ask credit by Imperius Mortem 200. What's the most hauntingly beautiful song you've ever heard? Moonlight Sonata. Thank you to my Nana for instilling a love of classical music in me, because she would play this on the upright piano for me when I was a little kid. It's such a beautiful, bittersweet piece, which always reminds me of her and our moments together. There are many, but Susan by Leonard Cohen it's absolutely gorgeous gives me goosebumps. To boost is Claire de Lune. It makes me teary eyed every time. Whenever I listen to this I always imagine what it must have been like to hear this played originally. No Spotify, no vinyl, no tape recoding etc. Just hearing this unbelievably beautiful piece of music and probably never able to listen to it ever again. We are truly privileged to have the conveniences we do now. The night we met Lord Huron. This song breaks my heart. We got in the car after signing our divorce papers and this song was playing when the car started. We just sobbed uncontrollably together. It's been some years now and I'm in a much better place, but I still won't listen to it. Blower's Daughter by Damien Rice is a good one. Plays at the end of, closer, https colon slash slash, www.imdb.com, slash title, slash tt0376541, slash question mark ref underscore ext underscore shr underscore lnk close bracket which is a phenomenal, brutally honest film. The Boxer Simon and Garfunkel. A good friend of mine was laid to rest to this song last week. I cried as the hearse drove off to the last verse. I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains. Between the bars Elliot Smith. Angelus 2. Fade Into You by Mazzy Star. Also Into Dust by Mazzy Star. The theme music in the movie Arrival. It's played a lot in the movie, and it's so haunting. Pulls at the heartstrings for sure. In the Nature of Daylight by Max Richter. Anything that guy wrote can be listed on here. Once you have watched and listened to Roberta Flack singing the first time ever I saw your face, that will do you for a lifetime. I should have searched for your comment before I posted mine, but I said almost the same thing. I don't have words to describe its beauty. Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. This song is so haunting and beautiful and sad and so is the story behind Jim and his death. He wrote this song after finding out he was going to have a son. The event must have filled him with so many emotions but also the realization that these special moments are fleeting. The song began as basically a b-side and was not considered for radio play in favor of other songs of his. Not long after his son was born, Jim got tired of touring and being away from his family. One day he told his wife he was going to quit music so he could go back home to be with his family for good. But only days later, he died in a plane crash. He never got to have the family life he desperately wanted, never got to watch his son grow up, never got to see his wife again. Soon after his death the song suddenly started to receive radio play due to the eerie parallels with what happened. The time in Jim Croce's B. Space Song Beach House. Fun fact, in the early aughts when I lived in Baltimore, Victoria was a waitress at a popular Mexican place in Hamden, Holy Free Holies. She's an awesome person and it's still so surreal to me that Beach House blew up the way they did. If We Were Vampires by Jason Isbell. Elephant, traveling alone. Alabama Pines, songs that she sang in the shower, when we were close, cast iron skillet. Jason Isbell has a lot of hauntingly beautiful songs. Very easy for me to say he's one of the best lyricists of my generation and one of the best country artists I've personally ever listened to. Wuthering Heights. This woman's work. Shine on you crazy diamond Pink Floyd. Song is written about Sid Barrett, most of the Wish You Were album is about Sid, and his mental decline. The lyrics are both sad and celebratory of a talent that could never reach its heights because of Sid's mental illness. 
Remember when you were young, you shone like the sun. Shine on you crazy diamond. Now there's a look in your eyes, like black holes in the sky. Shine on you crazy diamond. The lyrics are amazing, but the instrumentals are what really make it haunting. Such an ethereal, beautiful, trippy, sad song. Just been talking about this with my dad. Field of Gold by Eva Cassidy. Her voice was mesmerizingly beautiful. Isn't that Sting song? I was just going to say Fields of Gold. Exit Music, for a film, Radiohead. I love that they wrote it for Romeo plus Juliet and decided it was too good for a soundtrack, so kept it for OK Computer. Winter by Tori Amos. I saw an interview with her a few years ago. She was in maybe Prague in the winter with her husband and at the time young daughter. She turned around and saw her husband turn around and hold out his for their daughter to catch up. She said that brought the song full circle for her emotionally. Only time Enaya. Anything Enaya. Love song for a vampire by Annie Lennox. The Foggy Dew. An old Irish song about the Easter Rising of 1916. Makes me cry every time I listen to it. INXS never tear us apart. It has so much in it, and such a vibe, love it. Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. Ave Maria. Nearly any rendition, but honestly I love Aaron Neville's the most. I love Chris Cornell's version. On the Turning Away, by Pink Floyd. Makes me cry every time I listen to it.